I'm Katie Clancy, Chief House Hawker for the Cape House at William Ravis. And I'm Sarah Lapsey Martin of Team Martin Lapsley at Kinlan Grover Real Estate. And this is What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you the Cape through the eyes of a couple of locals. Every week, we tell you about a person, a place, and a thing that we think you should know about. This week, we talk about a lo- local shop owner getting pounds of produce to people that need it, coffee for a cause, and Small Business Saturday. All right, let's do this. Yay. Uh, <laughs> so these are three really good ones. Yeah. Um, so our first one with the person is Rory Ames, who is um, the owner of Rory's Market, which used to be the organic market. Um, it's been woman-owned since 1978. Her, um, she took over from her mom, uh, Darby Zurich, and they ch- just changed it off, I think, last year. The name, I'm not sure exactly when it happened, honestly. Recently, um, though, yeah. It's definitely recently. Yeah. Um, so have you been there? I have, to the one in Mashpee, Mashpee yes. Commons. Yes. Yeah, she's got one in Mashpee and one in Dennisport. And we go mostly to the Dennisport one because it's closest to us. Yeah. But the reason I thought that Rory would be a really good person to feature is she, one of her dreams was to do this um, good for good program. She saw the need for more fresh produce for um, food insecure people on the Cape, which by the way, that has become a huge issue. And we're going to talk about that more later in another episode. Yeah. Um, but the food insecurity. So she wanted to get in there and do something about it. So she has made sure thousands of pounds of produce she has gotten from her stores into the hands of people who need it. It's just, it's That's just amazing. Awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, so you've been to the one in Mashpee. You got, have you been to so like- So I've been in there. So they have the smoothie bar, with which I love. You can have like grab and go food. It's just such a great spot there. I mean, it's it's a large store. Yeah. I don't and know. then you can, you can yeah. like, well, I walk around the Mashpee Commons too. So I get to like go in Rory's and then I can, you know, go around. Oh yeah. The oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, um, she, one of the other things that she did was, you know, made the grab and go thing just blew up that she's got yeah. kitchens in both stores. Yep. She just, she's, all right, so fun fact. Yes. If Let's I hear it. must confess, <laughs> where I first met Rory, okay. I was her teacher. So in another okay. life, yep. when I was a math teacher yes. she, at, at Cape Cod Lighthouse Charter School, she was- I didn't know you were a math teacher. That's interesting right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, she was uh, one of the first, she was in eighth grade and she was my student. And um, I knew then that she had the personality for entrepreneurship. She always yeah. had an idea. She was never afraid to say it. She was always yeah. a leader, like just out there. And like, <laughs> the thing I love about her too is like, you never have to worry where you stand. She's like, Bleh! there it is. Like, she, yeah. <laughs> um, the way it is. <laughs> but she's just such a, she's just such a cool person. She's on the board at, at Cape Wellness. She is, um, she's a mom. So funny. Another funny story yep. is her oldest is about the same age as my youngest. So I was her teacher. And then later on, we had babies like you know, pregnant at the time. same time. That's Little amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward, but at least your youngest and her. Like, yeah, oh. exactly. And she just became a mom again. She adopted. Oh, exciting. It. So she's just like awesome. She's just a really cool person doing really cool things. And I would just love for people to support her yep. and her business and anything she cares about. Because like, if she's behind it, just stand next to her, follow her, do whatever she's doing. She's got great ideas. So yes. And people so are going to love the store. Oh yeah. 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 Um, all right. So that's our person. What's our place this week? So our place this week is Cape Cod Coffee. Um, so I recently went to the new Cape Cod coffee that's in Mashpee. Um, it did take me a, a long time to get there. So I do feel bad about that, but I made well, it finally. Wait, no, first, Sarah, yeah. tell me how long has Cape Cod coffee been around? So this is the crazy thing. So Cape Cod coffee previously was known as Cape Cod coffee roasters. So, um, it has new owners now, but it's been, um, a coffee roasting, you know, coffee roasting business since 1970, which I had no idea. I mean, I was very surprised to hear that. So the new owners, Pam uh, Pam and Jan Agerbeck, they actually bought it just five years ago. And they, you know, they saw what it was. And they said, you know, this is really a hidden gem. They have a great product, great coffee, but not enough people know about it. Um, I mean, I, I think now in the last five years, everyone knows Cape Cod Coffee, their location. So they have two different locations. One's in Mashpee Commons, which again, yeah. I love Mashpee Commons. We're all about Mashpee Commons today for some reason. Yeah, I know. We're on the Mashpee <laughs> kick. So 
they do at their Mashpee, um, in the Mashpee Commons, they do full breakfast and lunch and they, they have cocktails like Bloody Marys and of course their coffee. Um, one of the okay. other things um, that I saw that I really wanted to try, haven't yet, they have all these different mimosas, which I really love, you know, different kind of mimosa yep. variations. They have a cotton candy mimosa and it features um, local spin cloud cotton candy. So I have to try that. I will report back. <laughs> yes, please let me know how that is. Right. Sounds um, it sounds interesting. Yeah. But their new location um, is on Evergreen Circle and Mashpee off Route 130. And that's their actual roasting facility. Um, they are going to, I don't know if they're doing them now, but they're planning on doing tours. So, you know, you can tour like wineries and breweries. So why not tour the roasting facility and see how the coffee's made, which I think aren't, is a really cool thing. Aren't they doing like um, charity stuff too? Yeah. So they do a lot of charity things. So some of the, the coffee that they roast, they have specialty blends. So they have one for capabilities, one for independent house and one's for heroes in transition. And all of that, you know, supports the, these local nonprofit organizations here. Yep. Um, they have so many awesome other blends like cranberry and coconut and cinnamon, hazelnut and all these cool things. See, I, that is not my jam. I'm not into, not into it. Mm-mm. What's your favorite? Fl- what's so your favorite people coffee? are really, I think the the one that's like really getting a lot of buzz is the coconut one recently. And you can yeah. get it like a cold <laughs> brew too. So, you know, that that's always good. And, you know, holiday ones, like, you know, this past October. All right. So actually that's, nice. I can get down with a pumpkin spice. Okay. And I, I was can like, come on, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's like the, the flavored coffee, yeah. but I also, also like a holiday, like a Christmas roast that sometimes do yeah. be Christmas roast. I'm sure they have something have for Christmas it out. as well. Yeah. Um, but so they're, so you've got to check out their, their new location. The thing that's awesome about it is they built it. Um, it's only been open this year and, or in the past year. And it's almost like a farmhouse feel. It's got like a front porch. Oh, very um, cool. It's awesome. And when I was there, they had picnic tables out back and um, like big fire pits and they had live music. And now that it's getting a little colder, they're doing um, kind of like a uh, covered heated pavilion. So they can still do local music. Oh We've seen God. our friends. Um, you know what I love about there. that, Sarah, is that yeah. it's like, like not everybody. So, all right. So listen, I'm an evangelist now because I just got over sober October. Okay. So I'm all like, <laughs> we're not drinking anymore. So <laughs> I know I'll get over that quickly. I'm yeah. sure. But the fact that there's a place like that, like the breweries do stuff like that. But if you have a coffee right. roaster, I mean, right. I know they've got the mimosas and, and all that stuff too, but yeah. like it's, it's focused around coffee. And right. so that's kind of a nice, nice to have like a social place where there's music and fire pits and all that festivity. Exactly. Without booze. Can exactly. Make- so then you can have, you know, you can do your coffee if you want, or you can, you know, they have a full bar. They have, um, so oh, they have a lot of, okay. <laughs> yeah, they do have the bar there, but they, so they have, but the, it's great because they're working with local breweries. So yes. um, they have Cape Cod beer, devil's purse, uh, Barnstable Brewing, and then they do have Shoal Hope Cider Works. Yep. Um, and then they're actually with their cocktails, they partnered with Cape and Island Distillers. So they're really working with a lot of local, uh, local um, companies, which is wonderful. Okay. All right. So it is it. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it is. So you easy. can do both <laughs> have coffee and you can be sober or you can have a cocktail. It depends on what you're up to. You know? I love it. Oh my exactly. gosh. I've got to, I got to head out there. That seems yeah. like a really fun winter thing to do. It, exactly. Um, so our th- thing this week is a very cool thing that I think both you and I are pretty excited yes. about because it is kind of what we stand for. And it is Agreed. small business Saturday, um, hashtag shop small shop local. Yeah. Um, we're pretty into the concept of obviously supporting your local obviously. community and whatnot. Yes. Um, did you know, Sarah, who started small business Saturday? I did not Katie. <laughs> Tell me. American Express did, which I went over here thinking like, you know, maybe like the girls that's love really, them. yeah, that's Local. really random. Well, if you think about, you know, we've got yeah. Black Friday and then yeah. all this set of the Cyber Monday. And all, so yeah. I guess it makes sense. When More spending about, money, another way to spend and use it, your Amex. It, yeah. <laughs> yes, another way to use my Amex card. Right. Yeah. Um, but in 2011, the Senate yeah. actually passed a resolution to recognize it as a formal day. And it really is good. You know, when small it's, businesses agreed. are healthy, it's good for communities and it's good agreed. for the whole country. Agreed. Um, the, for every dollar that's spent locally, 67% stays in the local community, as opposed to most of it, you know, I... Listen, I have Amazon boxes on my doorstep and I know me some too. people will hate me for that, yep. but 
it's, you know, the money does not, you know, when I do that, I'm sending money off Cape and that's, that's not cool. Right. Um, so I do try to shop locally uh, a lot. Um, so lovelivelocal.com has tons of information yes. if you are not familiar with them um, and they will have more and more information. They also have a um, local matters report, which you should check out to see where all your business goes, but let's get to the fun part. Yes. What's the fun part, sir? So the fun part is that we are going to do a special offer just for what's good Cape Cod fans. So we're going to do some local, uh, some discount codes, giveaways um, to all different local businesses here on the Cape. That's right. So yeah. we're, you know, we'll show you them here, um, all the codes and everything in the video, yeah. but keep an eye on Sarah's social, my social. We're going to post these. You'll be able to go and grab them, save them, whatever, um, so that you can see, you know, which, which businesses and, and what the codes are and what the offers are. But we're so excited to be able to do that and actually help Small Business Saturday happen. And the codes won't just be good on Saturday. They'll be good for a long time. You know, read the fine print, all that good stuff. Exactly. <laughs> but, um, and, yeah. you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of small businesses struggling, especially with this year and everything that's happened. So now more than ever, you know, always support, but especially just when you're thinking about Christmas presents, think about shopping small. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We're here to help you do that. Yes. We want you to shop local as much as you can this season. To get you going, we're going to tell you about some special What's Good Cape Cod fan small business discounts that are going on this holiday shopping season. You ready? All right, let's First, go. First, we have the Snow Goose Shop on Route 28 in Harwich. They're offering $5 off any purchase and enter to win a $50 gift certificate. We have Hammer and Stain DIY Studio. They have an online 20% off take-home kit. Nove Yoga and Wellness Studio in West Dennis. They're offering 15% classes in studio and virtual. Coupons for Cape Cod is giving What's Good Cape Cod fans free promotion of their discounts on their website and social media pages. Chosen Fam is an organization that celebrates your friends who are like family and they sell swag about it. They're offering 10% off your entire order. At Prepster in Harwichport, online or in-store, you get 30% off your entire order plus a free Prepster sock bundle. Cape Cod Chamber Orchestra, they're bringing the Cape a fresh take on classical music. They're offering discounted tickets on their 2021 and 22 season and discount on merch. Plum Porch Gift Shop is doing a free Fraser Fur Times gift with a $50 purchase. Cape Coth Retail Clothing is offering a 20% off online discount. Yarmouth Pizza by Evan is going to give What's Good Cape Cod listeners 10% off any walk-in orders that mention they saw them saw them on the show. Maria Poli Dolls, their handmade stuffed toys and home decor, they're offering 15% off your order. We have a couple of Instagram contests, too. The fishing festival, Isabel and Lily, you know, the scallops that everybody loves so much. Um, they are doing an Instagram giveaway. You're going to get two pounds of scallops, um, a fishing vessel, Isabel and Lily hoodie, and I'm throwing in a K-Post t-shirt, koozie, and sticker. So check their Instagram for that and ours. Little Miss Cupcake in Hyannis. She's offering a discount when you order online or in store. The Underground Bakery and Cafe in Dennis Village is doing another Instagram contest. They're going to be giving a free send nudes, <laughs> as in noodles, t-shirt, and a dozen assorted cookies. The Art Cottage Artists Cooperative in Mashpee Commons, they're doing free shipping with gift and gift with purchase. And AL ALR Designs, they do watercolor painted goods, greeting cards, um, they are giving you a, an online discount, 15% off, plus a free sticker with your purchase. And don't worry if you missed anything. You can always replay this show or visit us on social at Cape Cod Properties and the Cape House, where we will post all of these What's Good Cape Cod promos.